gears. Learning to design them is one of the most important skills for 3D printing, being useful both for their function and aesthetics. 3D printed gear design has a multitude of properties that has been covered fairly extensively. Type, material, backlash, the list goes on. One thing that I haven't seen looked at, however, is size. And I thought that would be a useful reference for people to have, hence me making this video. In spur gears, size is defined by module. A designer might change the module for a variety of reasons, but in my experience, usually it's simply because I want a mechanism to fit into a smaller space. My go-to size for FDM printing is module 1, sometimes going up to module 2 and as low as module 0.5 which is pretty much the limit for most filament printers. Resin printing allows for much, much finer detail, so we can push the limits of tiny gear creation. Specifically, I'm going to test all the way down to module 0.1, which is in the territory of wheels for watches. For the first set, I'll also print modules 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0.4 to see how the machine copes. The machine in question is a Mars 5 Ultra, which Elegu kindly provided me with to do these tests. With a 9K resolution screen, it'll be ideal for making these tiny parts. And here are our tiny gears. The module point one just looks like a circle to the naked eye, so I'll be interested to look at it under a macro lens. But looks only account for so much. What's most important is how the teeth mesh together, and to test that I'll need another tool. I'm building something inspired by a wheel depther, which is a clock making tool you might have seen on Clickspring's channel. This tool will allow us to adjust how the gears mesh to judge how well the teeth have formed. Okay, with that set up, let's see how these gears perform. Starting with module point 4, no surprise, these formed perfectly. Almost not worth testing really. Module point 3 now, and I can see these are going to perform well also. Pretty clear tooth profile and good meshing. Onto module point 2, it's now hard to make out the teeth profile without using a lens. However, they're still meshing nicely, but the small resin debris is starting to become a bit more noticeable. Onto the last two sizes. To me these look just like circles, but I can feel there are teeth formed. We can see in the slicing software that in theory they should be there. Down to 0.15, we're essentially done at this point. The gears are still meshing and turning, but the teeth are very much bumps. And at module 0.1, a similar story, but the bumps are even more exaggerated. They're kind of meshing, but they're just really bumps rather than teeth now. Not good enough to be reliable. And so that's how the gears all stacked up. In a sentence, I would say that you could print as low as module 0.2 while maintaining an okay tooth profile. Of course, these are not super strong. I'd like to give some numbers on teeth breaking strength, but I just don't have the equipment at the moment. Thanks again to Elegoo for providing me the printer. I think it takes the cake for the easiest printer I've ever set up. I didn't even read any guides or manuals, and it's still printed perfect without touching any settings. Thank you to my patrons, and to you, as always, for watching.